whispering is the truth. Nothing more. Hi. Welcome to the channel, fam. I'm Lita, and I read cards. So we're going to do something fun. It's not necessarily a pick a card, but it is about everybody. So I think everyone will be able to somewhat enjoy this video, maybe, possibly. I want to take it back to how I first um, started uh, exploring these types of things as far as having an online platform. I had a um, podcast. It's called I Hate Astrology. I did it through Anchor. Uh, but what I talked about was the things that I hate about every astrological sign. I want to do that, guys, for you quickly. And I also want to pull um, a card to see what is the most hated thing about that sign. How about we do it that way? Okay, we're gonna let Tarot, we're gonna or we're gonna let this deck tell us what is her most hated thing about that sign. That sounds fun, right? Okay, and if we're lucky, she might not like the same thing that I don't like about the sign. Okay, so let's just get started with Aries. Aries, what do I dislike about Aries? Aries are extremely pushy they're way too bossy um they always think that their way is the right way another thing that i noticed personally is that aries will try to talk you out of buying something that's say off brand or on sale or something like that and they try to talk you into buying the most superior product but when it comes to them buying themselves they don't always do that um they can be way too competitive and way too sexual, like on a first date or something. I, Yeah, way too sexual. Okay, so let's ask my dad, what is the most hated thing that you have about Aries? Bossing, judgy, trying to tell people what to do. Okay, so she agrees with me. That's what's up. All right, so Taurus, what do I hate about you, Taurus? Taurus, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not a lot that I hate about you because I am a Taurus triple, okay? Sun, Venus, Jupiter, okay? Um, but I'll tell you what. We are extremely stubborn. Um, we have issues with balance, okay? In the sense that a lot of people ride the middle ground. We had a tendency to run extremely hot or extremely cold, okay? And that could be a bit of a problem, all right? Because sometimes you need to know how to play it cool, and we don't seem to know how to do that. Uh, we have the tendency to disappear, just totally disappear on people with no provocation. It's just we need space, and I don't think we really know how to tell people that. So we just dip. Is there anything else I don't like about Taurus? Well, I know you all will say that you don't like the fact that um, Taurus can never be wrong. But I'm just going to go out on a limb and say it's a Taurus. As much as uh, we research and talk, chances are if we're talking about something, we probably know what we're talking about. Um, occasionally, a Taurus will step out on a limb because they got a feeling that they know and then they don't. But nine times out of ten, if we argue something, we knew. OK, so let's ask it that. What is the most what is your most hated thing about Taurus? Ugh. Okay, I think for her is that Taurus can be completely pessimistic, okay? Um, they can always see um, the bad and everything. They tend to, we do tend to tear things down, okay? Um, even in relationships, we're more than likely to know what we don't want in a relationship versus what we do want in a relationship. So, yeah, I'm going to give her that one, okay? All right, so moving right into Gemini. What do I dislike about Gemini? I'm going to tell you, off top, the goddamn gossiping, the two-facedness. I I really have an issue with Gemini, okay? Gemini are the type of people that get all in your face and ooh, ooh, they love you and you their closest friend, boop, boop, boop. And then in a month, they don't fuck with you no more for no good goddamn reason. And then they telling people all types of shit about you, which you can confided in them when you were friends and it's like oh my god did you really put me out there like that i don't like that about gemini okay and for me that's the only thing that i don't like about gemini because gemini are extremely entertaining friendly funny they have the gift of gab you know 
but um that two-facedness and that gossiping mm -mm. so that what is the thing you hate about gemini the most it's interesting because this is a truth card okay um <clears throat> So if it's the thing that she hates the most about the car, it would be like they don't or their perception of what the truth is or not telling the truth. OK, let's pull another one for good measure. There it is. You see this? This is on the phone, on the web. Yap, 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 yap. And just telling every goddamn thing. And we even got two, a two to show for the duality. Because I promise you, I promise you they two-faced it as hell. All right, so let's move right on into cancer. What do I hate about cancer? Now, it's not a lot I hate about cancer, okay? But um, the moods. The moods as a Taurus, it can be overwhelming for me. All right. Um, I also have noticed that cancers, and I don't know if anyone else talks about this, but I have noticed that cancers are the type of people to be upset with someone for doing shit that they do. Um, I kind of feel like they are extremely oblivious to their own behavior a lot of the times. Um, <laughs> Have y'all noticed that about cancer people? If you have, let me know down in the bottom, okay? So, for me, that's <clears throat> that's it. Because other than that, I really like cancers. Um, you know, they're really friendly. They tend to be, you know, pretty loyal. Um, you know, it's a good time. Until they sad or until they pissed off. Oh, that's what else. When they're angry about something. And this, I have noticed in all water signs okay so i'm going to repeat this when i get to other water signs that shit being mad and not telling the person why you're mad at them because you feel like they should know why you're mad at them is the biggest crock of shit that every water sign does it's stupid it's stupid because just because you think it's wrong you think that i should know that it's wrong doesn't even mean that i even think it's wrong if you have an issue with someone and if you're watching this cancer scorpio pisces stop doing this shit if you got an issue with somebody tell them what the fuck you got the issue with them for it doesn't mean that you got to forgive them if you feel like i'm not going to forgive them but at least tell them please just at least tell them okay all right so let's see what does my dad dislike about cancer the most there it is that goddamn pouting that goddamn pouting it's the worst it is the worst all right so we did cancer so we're on leo right what do i hate most about leo leos are absolute liars no other way for me to call it outside of their lies i kind of like leo joe they, they are really fun they are live wires they got a lot of energy you know what i'm saying um they're great gift givers um if you date a, a leo leos are really the type to give gifts and i'm a taurus i like gifts okay so you know and they have great taste usually great taste in food um their fashion taste can be a little iffy because they're really out there all right and they're very protective okay but honestly the lies it's the lion for me oh and they are a bit stalkerish okay leos are the type of people that if you cut them off they could stalk you for years with no little to no contact okay so let's see what does my deck feel like is the worst thing about leos what does she hate most about leos Okay, so for her, it's the risky behavior. It's the running into everything, you know, just gung-ho head on. And we did say, they, say that they were fiery and they were about it. Um, I, that's something I actually like about them, but my deck thinks that shit's not cute. Okay. All right, so let's move into Virgo. Virgo I'm a Virgo rising so trust I'm about to tear y'all down because even though it's me too I, um, Virgos judge themselves just as hard or worse than they do everyone else leading to my first thing 
Virgos are too fucking critical. Okay. They judge any and everybody and everything. Okay. It's, it's ridiculous. It's just draining. Okay. Um, besides, besides being critical and naggy, I noticed that they tend to be very spoiled, very spoiled. Um, there's another trait that I've noticed in Virgos, but I only notice it in Virgo men. Um, it has to do with um, being abusive in nature um, and also having um, substance abuse issues. I see that often in Virgo males. Um, I think that may be I think that may be it. Just the nitpickiness and just judging everything. Oh, trying to fix everything. Thinking that everything is supposed to be perfect or they can make it perfect. So let's just ask the deck. What is the thing you hate most about Virgos? All right. So for her, it's the melancholy. Okay. And I can't believe I didn't mention that. Okay. But Virgos do have the tendency to kind of be withdrawn. They kind of do their own thing a lot of the time. They are often whiny. I think I, I may have said something about them being whiny. Or I'll tell you another one. They tend to be hypochondriacs. True story. Okay. Um, but yeah, they do mope a lot. They mope a hell of a lot. Okay. And the littlest thing you do to them is a travesty. Okay. But they could walk all over you and you're supposed to accept it. Weird shit. All right. Moving into Libra. Libra is my most loved sign to date. I'm going to change that. I'm giving up on Libras. Um, my kids, my ex-husband is a Libra. My other daughter's father is a Libra. Um, the majority of my exes are Libras. <laughs> so here we go. You ready? First thing, Libras lie. Libras lie and they're not even that good at it, but they lie. And I promise you, they lie anytime they feel like they need to get out of something that's uncomfortable. Okay. Two, they are indecisive as fuck. Okay. They have the hardest time making the most simple decision. Okay, three, they are wishy washy as fuck. Okay, and I'm gonna say it in this sense when sitting and talking with you, they could be on one side of the situation, and while sitting with someone else, they could be on the other side of the situation. The truth is, they really could be seeing both sides because that's what Libra does. But when they sitting with you, they didn't tell you that they saw the other person's side, and when they sitting with the other person, they didn't tell them that they saw your side, and that shit comes off as really fucking fake. Okay, Libras? So I want you to know, this is why people say you're fake. Okay? If you sitting with me and you can see both sides of it, Tell me you can see both sides of it. Tell the other person that you see both sides of it. But don't sit down with me and tell me you see my side and sit down with them and tell them that you see their side because that shit seems fake. Okay? And they're cheaters. Big ass cheaters. Big, big, big ass cheaters. All right. What does the deck hate most about Libra? Look at that. It's interesting that she chose this card, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Because to me, the emperor is extremely powerful and decisive, okay? Um, Libra does take the role of being in power positions in the sense that um, they tend to... Uh, judge between what's right or what's wrong but i think that's interesting for a, a sign that's supposed to be so fucking judgy and they can't seem to make goddamn decisions how are you a judge and you can't make decisions i don't know i'm taking it that the red on the suit is saying that um that she, i don't think she likes their passion their their passion or their prowess let's pull another one just to be sure all right. It has to do with their um, approach in matters of love. Um, she's saying like they're they're kind of dominant and bossy in love, um, and she doesn't like that. They can be. 
but I'm a Taurus, so they're not gonna boss me. So boom. All right, let's move on into Scorpio. Scorpio, okay. All right, Scorpio, let's just be real. What do I dislike about Scorpio? I'm going to start off by saying I love Scorpios. They are my polar opposite. But what I hate about Scorpio is a long ass list. Okay, so let's just do it. First things first, Scorpios are petty as fuck. They get angry over the smallest thing and act like it's the end of the goddamn world, okay? They would spend years trying to get back at you for the smallest shit that you ever did to them, okay? Or you could be family and you could have done something really small and they'll just stop fucking with you forever over some small shit. Um, they, they can be kind of violent. They like to argue a lot. Um... They're also cheaters. Oh, <laughs> cheater, cheaters, okay? Um, what else don't I like about Scorpio? I, I don't think it's much. I think I just really don't like the way Scorpio plays the victim. You know, when really they're the perpetrator, that kind of bothers me. That kind of bothers me, okay? So let's see. What does my deck feel like is the thing that she hates the most about Scorpio? Cheaters. Cheaters. Big ass cheaters. All right. So after Scorpio, what do we have? Sagittarius. Ooh, Sagittarius. We're in Sagittarius season. The end of it too. Okay. So happy birthday, Sagittarians. All right. What do I hate most about Sagittarians? It's not a lot. Uh, what do I hate most about Sagittarians? I think the only thing I don't really like about you can tell I'm pulling I'm pulling for this one I don't deal with a lot of Sagittarius my besties are Sag um I've dated a Sag um I don't deal with a lot of Sages okay so and the ones I dealt with were really good to me um I do there is something I don't like about Sages okay I feel like Sages have the personality trait of knowing when something is wrong, okay? But doing it anyways just because they fucking want to. Um, morally, that bothers me. Um, it's one thing for somebody to do something wrong and they don't understand that it's wrong, you know, or why it's wrong. They don't know it's wrong. It's a whole nother for you to know that the shit that you're doing is wrong, but you're going to do it anyway just because you fucking feel like it. Sagittarius people can be very, I'm doing it because I want to and I can. Um, other than that, I don't really have any issues with Sag. So let's see. What does the deck hate most about Sagittarius? Well, she says they're defensive, okay? Um, they have a defensive uh, stance. And that can be too, because they do kind of keep themselves very private, you know? Like, you don't really let anybody in close to them. I, I always just thought it was because they want their freedom, but I guess it could be the fact that they're protecting themselves. This is how they protect themselves, but they're just doing it to the most, okay? I don't know, Sag. If y'all have some real gripes about Sag, put them down in the bottom. Let me hear about it, okay? And let's move right on into Capricorn, all right? Now, listen, I really enjoy Capricorns. Um, as a Taurus, I really enjoy Capricorns. I, I can't say it enough, okay? But what do I not like about Capricorns? Mm -mm, okay, they are a little bit too fucking quiet. And as a Taurus, that's really saying a lot. They are a little bit too fucking quiet. Um, it makes, they're sneaky. You know, you got to watch out for them. You got to watch out for them. Okay. Um, and they are way too preoccupied with finance. They miss out on a lot of life chasing money. But that's just a personal preference. Um, I guess that I don't really hate that about a person. Just the quietness for me. All right. So let's quickly see what is my deck's most hated thing about Capricorn. Well, look at that. King of Pentacles. What do you know? All right. Their love of money. 
It's all about the money. Um, I, I did mention that. It is. It's just all about the money for them. There's nothing else to it, okay? It kind of makes them kind of shallow, right? All right, so let's move into my most hated sign in the Zodiac. Okay, there's only one. There can only be one. All right. And my twins are actually, my twin daughters are actually this sign. They're the first day of this sign. And I try to get the doctor to let me have them two days earlier so I can make sure they were Capricorn. And he told me, no, I should just learn to love Aquarians. And I did. Okay. My kids anyways, but you have to think your kids are raised under your influence. So my kids aren't as ball to the wall Aquarians okay like others are and I'm gonna tell you Aquarius gets on my fucking nerve okay seriously all right uh one thing I hate about Aquarius is is they full of shit and y'all really be believing that they so super smart and they know so much no they don't they really don't I'm telling you as a Taurus they really don't okay they just spitting some shit that's above your head and you don't even go back and research it so it seems like they know so much but if you took the time to research what they said they blow a lot of fucking hot air and you know why because they're liars they lie a lot Aquarius people lie a lot okay um they're like sociopaths okay <laughs> They don't really have real emotions a lot of time. Like they don't respond to things the way that other people respond to things. And then they do this bullshit where all of a sudden they do respond and it's over the top. And that's why I said they are like sociopaths. Sociopaths uh, tend to do that, right? It's like they don't feel the emotions that everyone else feels. So when they need to show emotion, they go overboard because they're trying to put on a show. Okay. And um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Aquarius. Mm-hmm. They do that shit. I don't like it. It bugs the hell out of me. Like I said, they fake, they lie, and they don't have real emotions. All right? Now, let's ask my dad. What is her most hated thing about Aquarians? Okay. So, um, this card I'm going to take to mean as if, like, um... Their passions or their knowledge is really, really young, you know, and maybe they're a little too um, excited with the little bit that they've gained. Yeah, here it is. It's like they're rolling in like they're victorious, you know, like they went in and they fought the battle and they won and they're coming back like ooh, ooh, we won. But in reality, they're just starting out their little journey. This is what I was trying to tell you about them faking. OK, they do a little bit of something and then they present to the world as if as if like they did it. They did it all, you know, boop, boop, boop. And they're coming back victorious when they haven't even really started the journey. I feel you, Dad. I feel you. And we come to our last sign in the zodiac, Pisces, freaky fish. What's up, freaky fish? I like y'all, okay? What I don't like about y'all. Y'all are pretty fucking psycho. Um, I have dated a few Pisces. I, I have a Pisces best friend. I've had many Pisces friends. Um y'all can be really fucking psycho um very vindictive and vindictive in the way of coming up with these huge grand schemes and plots and shit and as a tourist i'm just like fuck the shit either you just gonna fuck them up or just let the shit go and let's keep moving in life okay but they oh my god they just they pisces they do too much they're very sensitive and i don't like that I don't because I don't see them offering the same sensitivity to others. Okay. I think they're very cutthroat. Okay. And I can accept cutthroat, but I can't accept cutthroat and sensitive. I'm going to need them to pick a lane. Okay. And I know that they're two fish and one is in one direction and one is in the other. Okay. And I get it, but I'm just saying that's what bothers me about them. That's it. Other than that, nothing. That's it. Okay, so let's see. What does my deck feel like is her most hated attribute of Pisces or what she hate most about them? Hmm. Okay, so 
I'm going to take it <clears throat> for this to be a dreamy state, okay? Because this person has put in some work and they're waiting for everything to come back. But if you can, if you can tell, she's kind of just glaring out into the world or whatever. Um. <clears throat> She's kind of dreaming, okay? Pisces is known to be a dreamer, okay? They have huge dreams. Uh, but I, I kind of feel like that sometimes they do spend way too much time, like I said, coming up with these master schemes, okay? Uh, they, they, yeah, they get lost in their head way too much, way too lost, okay? Just dreaming their lives away, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this little I, what I hate about your sign video, okay? Um, next time, I think maybe I might do what I love about your sign, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for coming by, Swans. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.